South Wales is turning into Calcutta as Gwent Police Force hits the streets in their newly acquired Tuk Tuks, said to be used to patrol parks, walkways and other public spaces. Showing just how lazy the police are these days, instead of actually walking the beat, they will try literally anything not to have to put their feet on the pavement. So this is yet another example and another expense that will be swallowed from the public's council tax precept, so Plod can continue to be fat, lazy twunts. Instead of getting back to basics and having that community interacting presence on the street of a constable walking the beat. They say that the tuk-tuks will be driven by police and ambassadors, whatever the fuck that means. Surely if it's a police vehicle, which I'm sure it will be classed as, then only police should be able to drive them. And they are saying that the tuk-tuks will provide safe spaces for residents wanting crime prevention advice to report incidents or anyone who feels unsafe. Because if a gang of machete-wielding visitors are chasing someone down the street, I'm sure the tuk-tuk will be a welcome relief for the victim of the attack, where they can simply jump in and close the door. Oh, wait. Well, at least they'll be able to make a quick getaway. I'm sure the kids will like them. Chief Inspector Damien Salry said the vehicles had been on show at a recent Behind the Badge Day and said the feedback was overwhelmingly positive with parents telling officers that they would feel safer knowing that there was support for young people out at night and from women who could think of, think of an occasion when the tuk-tuk would have been a welcome sight. Now personally, I think the words have been twisted somewhat here. I cannot imagine anybody saying, oh, thank God it's a tuk-tuk. More likely to be, oh, thank God it's a police officer. But of course, they need to justify the new addition to the force's fleet. Of course, I'm not sure, or I'm sure you're not surprised, the force has been getting a ribbing online over the addition. One person wrote on social media, good luck chasing some young scallywag churning up the cricket pitch in at. Another said, look forward to that being upside down in a ditch, along with half of Asda's trolleys on a Sunday morning. With another saying, you know one of them is definitely going to be rolled over in a police chase. Now I know I'm taking the piss a bit here, to be fair, I guess any presence is better than none. But in the fight to gain respect from the public, I really don't think this is the best way to go about it. Get back to basics, get plod on the beat, boots on the ground, and show a presence that actually garners some respect, rather than making yourself look like idiots driving these things around.